Hey, welcome to Discard. Today I have an absolutely premium, beautiful, awesome display for Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. I'm always looking for these awesome ideas and these really unique takes on displaying those things. Let's take a look. Now I for one am always for acrylic displays and there's definitely a reason why it's always been the industry standard as far as I can remember. Bitlounger doubles down on this acrylic philosophy not only by making amazing beautiful pieces but also by making unique pieces to the market. And now after months after my pre-order I finally have this beautiful stand in my hands. And it's simply called the Game Boy Clear Stand. This happens to hold nine cartridges and boy is this thing a beauty. This is easily the most beautiful display I have seen for a Game Boy or Game Boy Color cartridge. I think it's probably the best one that's on the market today. That's not to say that it doesn't have any drawbacks. It certainly has one of those, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But just looking at this beauty, you can already start to imagine all the different locations. You could put this in a game room, a game collection, even a small collection, maybe putting this by a TV stand or something like that. This is definitely gonna be a centerpiece, a thing to talk about, a thing to draw people in. It's absolutely stunning. Definitely a perfect decor item for a modern space that is related to gaming. I definitely see it in that category the most, these acrylic, kind of see-through displays fit in perfectly with kind of a modern setup. So if you do order one of these and it shows up at your house, it's gonna show up in a box. The stand inside the box will come in four different pieces. You'll have the base, you'll have the front and back, as well as the core of the display itself. The actual core of this design, the part that holds the actual Game Boy cartridges, that's the piece that comes in three different pieces, and they are all bolted together with four different bolts. It comes with a total of four bolts. You have two bolts that are longer and two bolts that are shorter. The longer bolts are to attach the actual core of this design to the base, and that's something to easily that you need to remember because when I put this together, I wasn't really thinking it through and I put the long bolts on top and it just took me a little bit more time to kind of put this thing together. The bolts go to all four corners there, they attach to the base and you just screw them in and tighten them down. You never want to tighten too much with acrylic because this, this stuff it will shatter on you, it will turn into little pieces, so just keep that in mind. The box also includes little rubber feet, which I always really appreciate. These things are super cheap out there, you can buy them anywhere, but I like to see a manufacturer include them in the this case. When you take a flat piece of acrylic and lay it down on another piece of flat whatever, it could be a shelf or it could be a countertop, even the slightest amount of dust there rubbing against the acrylic can leave little micro scratches. So having those little rubber feet included is a pro move in my opinion. But when it comes to build quality, how well is this built? Is the acrylic nice? Well, yes it is. It's definitely a nice cut acrylic. There's no extra scratches on there. You can see that a lot with people that are new to the acrylic industry and cutting stuff. You get all these weird edges and mistakes, but this is cut really nice and clean out of acrylic and looks really beautiful. I also appreciate that this is one whole piece. It's not gonna fall apart if you pick it up and move it. A lot of acrylic designs out there can require you to use a little bit of glue to keep things attached to each other because they are kind of friction fit together. But in this case, because they used bolts, it's all nice and tightened down and it's one big solid piece. So you can feel free to move it from one end of your game room to the other. As for the slot sizes, they're perfectly cut out. They're the right size for Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. I was a little worried there they were gonna leave out Game Boy Color games just for whatever reason, but they definitely included them and made sure everything fit perfectly. Not that they're that much different than your regular Game Boy card. Now, while I am in love with this and all the different things that I can do with it, how beautiful it is and how unique it is to the market of display. There is at least one issue that I think a lot of people are gonna be thinking of when they're watching this video today. And that's the accessibility to those cartridges within the stand. A lot of stands allow you to just kind of grab and go. You can go grab your cart from that display that you have on your shelf and go start playing that game immediately. In this case, it is not that way. These are four bolts that are tightened down that you would have to add or remove depending on if you're putting your cartridges in or taking them out. And that creates a little bit of a lack of accessibility to your game. So if you were gonna be putting games into this display, they better be games that you kind of want to be looking at more than playing. And I, you know, there's a lot of games that I can think of that fit that bill and I'm not gonna be playing them anytime soon. And I'd be okay going through that one minute process of taking this apart to take them out if I did want the chance to play that game. Needless to say, this is not a WATA solution where they lock away a game forever, never to be played again. This is accessible to a degree, but definitely could be made better. And so if I was to recommend a solution for this problem, I've come across a couple Switch cartridge holders recently. I will leave a link in the description on these amazing acrylic Nintendo Switch cartridges 
cartridge holders, but they use magnets for the same kind of display. And they insert them into where these bolts are, and it makes it really easy to take off the front and easily access your cartridges at a moment's notice. So I'd love to see that incorporated into the design in the future, but it's definitely fine with the bolts as it is for the right person. And it's always something to keep in mind that the price of these kinds of things may go up if you do get that kind of accessibility with magnets added, more attention to detail on this thing, more people working on it to making sure that they fit and they're glued in place, more chances for it to get marred and so forth. So the already premium price of this would go up quite a bit possibly. But getting into all the uses you could use for this, well, first of all, it is a display, so that's the main use. But for the most part, you can put this thing anywhere. Because it's acrylic, you could see through it. You could see the items on your shelf behind it. You could literally put this on your shelf and still mostly see the spines of the games behind it. But of course, I think that this is more of a centerpiece, a piece to have like on top of a shelf, uh, on a table. Th these kinds of things are great talking pieces for a game room. Somebody comes in and asks you where you got that and which games are in it and, oh, you love Pokemon and all this awesome stuff. These are great centerpieces for a game collection. And as far as centerpieces for displaying game stuff, BitLounger really knocks it out of the park in my opinion, really nailing that attention to detail and making something really fantastic and unique. But when it comes to this display overall, I think it's fantastic. It definitely fits the bill for being one of my favorite displays for Game Boy cartridges that exists out there. It is totally unique. It's not your typical riser situation or tiered display situation or just in box situation. It's taking it to a whole new level and floating your games out there in front of you and it just looks absolutely stunning. So definitely great work by BitLounger on this one. I am very impressed. And for a quick review of another BitLounger product that is much more accessible to your games, that is the Game Boy 3 cartridge cart vault. And moving into this one, you can see a lot of that same kind of skill going into this when it comes to the build quality. What's really cool about BitLounger when it comes to their cart vaults is they don't just make these six-sided cubes to put something inside of. They actually take one long piece and kind of bend it over the top. So you have that one long piece kind of bending over there, creating these awesome curves that look really good. And then you have three other pieces, one on the left side, the right side, and the bottom. Now what makes these cart vaults so interesting is that they are incredibly accessible. The bottom of this just slides out and you put your cartridges inside. So this is perfect if you have three cartridges from a series that you're really into, that you really love, this might be a perfect solution to displaying those. And keep in mind, there's a lot more of these cart vaults out there. They make them for all sorts of different types of cartridges. They make it for boxed games, as well as handhelds, which I think is pretty awesome. I still have not gotten my hands on those yet, but I'll probably do that in the future. But this little cart vault for these three Game Boy cartridges is pretty small. So it has this little footprint that you can put anywhere in your game room, your game collection, around your TV and your few games that you have. It doesn't matter, this thing's gonna fit in whatever spot you wanna put it in. And not only that, you'll be able to access those cartridges really easily. You'll have three of those cartridges whenever you want and you can have it on display at the same time. So it's the best of both worlds. So if you have those three games that you're really into that you wanna see, Every time you enter your game room in a spectacular way, this may be the ticket for you, and it'll definitely be that awesome premium design. I kind of want to see somebody get a bunch of these and make just a mass of different displays. Maybe take these and put them on a tiered display and have this amazing kind of rolling acrylic display thing going on. I, I don't know. There's uh, The sky's the limit with this kind of thing because of how small of a footprint it does have. But I'm definitely impressed with how unique BitLounger makes their displays. They're not just out there making boxes out of acrylic like a lot of people are. You can find those boxes on eBay any time of the week. They're making some premium designed display cases for our games, our handhelds, our boxed games. And I'm definitely looking forward to the future with whatever these guys come out with because it's always interesting and unique. And these kinds of displays, they always get me excited about the future, excited about displaying things in game rooms again and, and just finding unique ways of doing things. And that's what we do here on Discart. We find interesting ways to display things in game rooms. I'm always looking at what's hot on the market, what's coming out next, what is the next big thing. Also looking at DIY ideas that are just simple things you can do in your game collection to kind of tweak things and make a big effect. And of course, we always have game room tours here where you can send in your game room and I'll take a look through it and look for cool display ideas in there to share with everybody else. Link is in the description for that. It's in the description. But outside of that, I appreciate everybody who's viewing these videos and sharing these videos with people. You guys are really keeping this real weird oddity of a YouTube channel alive and moving. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic day today and collect what you love.